What you doing? Everything you Hey, we're gonna go eat some food. Let's go. Look Flash the food. Shirt. Oh. Look at your new shirt. Is, cute. Oh, you like it? Are you flashing the food? Yeah. Flash. Go. What? <laughs> it was in your boobs. Mm. I had some beans accidentally fall in my cleavage for you. We're at Taco Bueno. The muchaco, my favorite. But what? This is different. This is even different. What did they do with my muchaco shopping? I don't know. I don't, I don't eat those either. things. Mexi dip and chips. What'd you get? I got the bueno chalada platter. We are so healthy. Literally the healthiest people you'll see. You see so many people with all their healthy meals on YouTube, and then we show you the nitty gritty. And that is us eating this all the time. All we can. 24 7. We're gonna, after the baby though, we're good. We're gonna, we're gonna, do, we're gonna, not meet your system, we'll do something better. Something. We don't know yet. So the last two days have been kind of chaotic. I've just been waiting for the moment that we have the baby, kind of, and I've been really bad about vlogging because I have ultimate baby brain. Like, the ultimate, ask Will, it's ultimate. It's <laughs> ultimate. It's pretty bad. Um, so my stomach has been expanding a little bit this way, which is crazy. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this look. Boom. I feel like it's gotten bigger. Look at how it's like coming out here, and then out here, like I can barely- It's gotten more full. It's full, yeah. So, I don't know what's happening, but it's fuller. it is so hard to handle my life with right now. <laughs> it makes me not be able to breathe still, even though he's fully dropped. He is down there, fully dropped. He's still, him or something is up here, pushing it all up in my business. So, I make my YouTube videos now, and I can barely, like, barely breathe. Most times I have to stop, and I'll be like, <sighs> and then I'll start talking again, and I'll stop, and, <sighs> and it like rounds around here this is where he likes to kick the most which makes me think i feel like he's facing inward and so this is his right foot right mm -hmm. Wait. no yeah if he was down yeah yeah he was up. so this is his right foot so i feel like he's going to be right-handed i was just told bill that um, <laughs> because he i mean that it's like that doesn't make sense it's my it's my observation he kicks more with this one than he does with this one mm -hmm. and so it has been like we're 38 weeks right now and I thought that people were just being over exaggerating when they're like, oh, I'm just so miserable when they're later in it. But my God, like my sleeping is getting even worse. I'm sweating during every type of sleep. Um, I get these contractions where it's just like tight and then it's not tight. It's like tight and it's not tight. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And it's just crazy. If he moves at all, it's he's, He's like large, so I can feel it, and it's underneath my ribs. It's painful. And at this point, I'm like, could you just, could you just make your way out? Could you just go on and get out of there? But he's not. He's taking his time. Apparently, he's gonna be born in May. He's born in May, so we did not get an April baby. We have a May baby. And he's more than likely gonna be a Taurus, unless somehow he's like two weeks late. Which no, I will tell my, I will tell my doctor. If we're at like 39 weeks and six days, I'll be like, we're doing this right now. Like you're, you were going to do this because I can't have 11 pound kid coming out of the who area. It's not going to happen. I will not do it. Like it would be the most miserable thing ever. I mean, I'll have to do it, but I mean, how are you feeling right now? I'm just ready for this to be over with. You're I want him to be here. You want him to be here? Mm -hmm. That cute little baby in his little it's gonna be I've had enough of pregnant cutes yeah. and, and all of her tiredness and everything pregnant cutes is ready to be back to normal and like have all my energy and be able to do all the things that I was able to do before but this time this little baby that I'm trotting around just like this is my baby I actually we should probably put that face not like together but we should put it in the back of the jeep just in case yeah we should um but yeah so that's how my life is right now still no trash marks We've gotten this far and we still don't have stretch marks. So that's right. one of the greatest things of my pregnancy. I'm very happy about that. Um, my nose is swelling. I don't know if you guys can tell or see, but it is bigger. I can see it. I look at my videos and I'm like, oh, when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> and so it is bigger. I got my toes did today and the lady massaged my legs up. And, my and she's like, wow, your feet are really swollen. <laughs> I'm sure she could tell because I was massively pregnant. I was too afraid to turn the massager on on the chair because I did not want to go, like, it, it massaged a part of my body and go into labor. Man, you're peeing yourself. Oh my god, my water broke. My water breaks, yeah. 
So I got those done. Oh, we changed up the dresses for the wedding. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna grab one. So my friend Kate let me use this dress. She had it whenever she was pregnant. And so it's gonna look really cute, I hope, on there. And then I didn't realize that I had these sandals and they widen. So I have them at a pretty tight fit because obviously my feet are not as wide as they need to be, but they widen so I can wear these and they'll be fine on my feet. I tried them on already. So, we took the other stuff back to Target. I'm not gonna look like a complete hood. It's at a country club. After a second of me being at home, I was like, it's gonna be uh, kind of, I'm gonna look kind of ridiculous <laughs> if I wear that other outfit. So, this one I think is gonna be cute. What do you think, cute? It's gonna be perfect. I think it's gonna be perfect. So we have that wedding. But that is gonna be it for this video for today. Our vlogs, I promise, will get way more entertaining after the baby's here. I'm just really, I'm just really stressed out and tired and like all this kind of stuff right now. And I mean, I'm sure that's gonna make me stressed out and tired, but you guys get to live that with me. And that'll make it more entertaining for you guys because you will get to see the baby and all the stuff that's with it. Right now, you just get to see this big fat pull up right here. Now it's gonna be a baby. Look at that massive thing. I know. And probably a week or two, it's gonna be a baby. Oh, he's moving. Did you see that on the right side? Jabba the Hutt. He was moving. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick that up. Kids. Anyway, guys, what? What are you, Jabba the Hutt right now? We're gonna go watch Blood Diamond because we talked about Kanye West and how he was rude about slavery and then I was like thinking about Blood Diamond for some reason, I don't know why. And I was like, did he get to be re reunited with his family at the end? And I was like, we have to watch it. So we're gonna go watch it again. <laughs> it's a really good movie. Um, but anyway, so, love you guys. Good night. Peace. Booby, everybody. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. We did the 38 week baby bump update and then my water broke while I was laying in bed watching Blood Diamond. Oh, oh my god. god. I haven't started to get contractions really yet. I had one sharp pain right before the water broke and then I was like, wait, what is that? And then I was like, well, unless I just peed myself, I'm pretty sure that my water just broke and then I went to the restroom and my water was breaking everywhere. So, oh my god. we're heading to the hospital now. I'm so nervous right now. I don't think my doctor is here because there was a doctor on call, which I don't even care. Yeah, that probably just means they're asleep. Yeah, maybe. So maybe they'll, they'll I don't wake know. up tomorrow and then come deliver the baby, so. That better not last until tomorrow. Wait, we, it's gonna last a while. I'm hoping that it happens just once it starts happening. They said that it could take up to two hours for the contractions to start, but, I don't know. We're heading there right now. I don't have any right now, so thankfully, I, it's probably gonna. Things are probably gonna get crazy. I might get mean. You guys might see a mean side of me. If you do, I'm sorry. But it's gets it's gonna hurt. It's the only reason why I think. So, are you excited? Uh, I'm terrified. You're terrified? Yeah. Oh, me too. I didn't think he. We even made a joke about it because of Taco Bueno, like how we were gonna like, what we were gonna fart and it was water was gonna break yeah. or something. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm nervous. It happened. So nervous. You're in the hospital. I'm in the hospital. What that now? Lady looks like she's having contractions. Yeah, that one lady's. One. I'm not even sure because we don't know who she is. We don't know who she is, but she was like contractions. Yeah. You excited? <laughs> yes, but I'm scared. Why? Get my go now. Okay, we were thinking about doing an Insta Live of the birth. Uh oh, Jesse's having a contraction. Yeah. Breathe, just breathe. <laughs> Didn't they tell you they oh, used to do that? It's because he's moving. He's making it happen. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> you sound like a ghost. I'm okay. You're okay. I'm okay. How are you feeling? It hurts. It's Is that his heartbeat still? Yeah, that's his heartbeat. It got crazy when I was doing the contractions. Oh, really? Yeah. Stop squeezing me. It goes up on the heavens. Oh, it wasn't enough. How can you even move his head stuck down there? How's he, does the rest of the body just wiggling around? I can see the blanket moving. You can see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> the mic wasn't on. Start over. Oh, God. We're one centimeter dilated, which means my water's broke, and it's it's going to probably start, but I have to get to, like, 10, and it could happen every two hours. And I've only had a couple of contractions, but they were kind of painful. So hopefully, if, if I get a couple more that are pretty bad, then I can just get my epidural right away. But this might take a while. It's gonna take this, a long while. This is gonna take a long while. We gotta, his head's really low, but I am not ready. I am not ready. Got my little thing here, got my phone. We're gonna make- you charge? Our, um, I think I was charging before, I'm at 50. We're gonna make our way up to the 
the room that we're going to. This isn't our actual room, so we have another one we're going to. We'll make our way up there. ASAP. Someone's dying. I'm dying. It hurts. Aww. Whenever they come, it hurts. And we're waiting to get in the room. And we had to wait. Someone got moved, and so we're going to go after that. Are they going to roll me in there? Can I? Yeah. In this bed? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I don't, I don't mean I don't think you get out, but I'm not sure. I can't get up right now. <laughs> I, I don't think I could get up right now. The baby might fall out. Yeah, he probably could. I mean, that's what I feel like at this point. I kind of gotta feel like I gotta pee again, but I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. We got ourselves a baby mama drama. I got an epidural. Epidural. Um, and. Funnily, or what a funny, I, mean, I can't even talk God, to you're her. in space right now. This, the person that gave it to me was someone we used to do CrossFit with. It's hilarious. And I saw him and I was like, that guy looks familiar. And then afterwards, after he was done, he was like, so you guys still do CrossFit? So he's now seeing my butt cheeks. Oh, he's seen it all. And he's stuck things in my spine. Oh so gosh. That's pretty crazy, but. This um, is our room, by the way. It's a pretty nice room for this. Hospital place. room, too. Yeah. The baby. I now can't feel my my legs very much, but um, I can tell that it's just it's just so weird. Like, so can you feel this? I can, ah, yes, I can feel that, but it's numb. Like if it's not ready yet, it's still waiting to go in. Come on, cute. You said you couldn't feel it. Yeah, but it's really n everything's numb feeling. I don't know. Am I supposed to just? I'll have to talk to you about that off camera. Ooh. This is an off camera issue. You want me to go get the pillows? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get that pillows and stuff. I am three or four centimeters already. We, we aren't sure. Is that good? Um, yeah, and I have a catheter, so now I can just pee whenever I want. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. You, you need this while you're streaming. I got that epidural. It is all I feel is like pressure, but not really pain. It's the greatest. If you're ever, well, I guess some people want to do it naturally. If that's what you want to do, it's just what you want to do. I do feel weird with this catheter in here, though. Like, just let it fly. Let it fly. Jesse's over there, and this is the weirdest feeling ever. He's just over there, just chilling. Oh, he's going to be born on my granny mom's birthday. Who? My granny mom and mom that raised my mom. Oh, really? Yeah. What? We just discovered that. That's amazing. Yeah, Grandma Sue? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Grandma Sue That's crazy. Yeah! 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 Okay, what do we have here? Not a sleeping beauty. I only slept Just like a beauty. Hour. All these noises, all these machines keep going off. And then I feel nauseous. And then I can't feel my legs and it feels weird. They're like tingly. Look, it's, it's JD and here. Brian. It's the labor thing. Um, and I keep, like, there's just so much stuff going on. You slept through, you slept, like, a lot. I was so tired. You, like, all these things were going off. I achieved checked. I was, I'm eight centimeters now, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, I saw it on text messages. Okay. And, like, all this different stuff, but you were just passed out. And I'm yes, up here, I'd out. sleep for, like, 25 minutes, and then it'd be like, beep, 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 and all these things would go off. My blood pressure got really low, so they had to pump me with some IV stuff. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just, that's the epidural that does it, I think. Oh, really? So they have to give you a lot more fluids. Because it just, like, relaxes you or something? I don't know, but my face started tingling and stuff. Oh. Did you call them in for that? Yeah. Hey, my face is tingling. I was like, I feel kind of weird right now. <laughs> but they just gave me nugget medicine, and it's working kind of quickly. It's crazy. It's good they gave you what? I had to get an extra epidural, too. Oh, you did? Yeah, I started feeling a little bit of a contraction. Oh. So, I've gotten another epidural. Look at you, sensitive, sensitive over here. Yes, the guy came in another, I mean, you've missed it all, kids. But you're going to be here for the big part, which is the scary part. Oh, God. Part. They said if I start feeling a lot of pressure in my butt, that's whenever his head's dropping down to come out. So, you don't poop your pants. It's probably, it's probably going to happen. I can't remember. 7.36. <laughs> Look at the two live crew over here. And then of course Jesse. There's his bed that he's gonna lay in at first. We're jamming. We're jamming. We're the Buffalo Sanchez. 
Buffalo Soldier Jazz. We're about to have a Buffalo Soldier. I don't think we're about to have a Buffalo Soldier. Do you even know what that is? No. That is a guy, he was brought from Africa over to the islands and he fought in the wars. Really? Oh, really? Pretty sure. I didn't I never know that. Knew that. I thought maybe it could be. So basically, he was a freed slave and oh. fought in the war. Well, was he freed or did they force him to fight in the war? No, he's freed because I think the islands were for, more faster to be freed than the U.S. But I, I could be mistaken here, but I thought that was the gist. I did not know that. Buffalo Soja. We're jamming right now. We're jamming. We're not quite Buffalo Soldiers. Yeah, but I'm a soldier over here. You're a Native American soldier. I'm a Native soldier. They hang out with buffaloes. I'm done. <laughs> About like the 8 o'clock traffic? Yes. Yeah? How far away are you? How far away am I? Yeah. She's nine centimeters. Oh, how, okay. Nine centimeters, I was like, I don't know. So Let's you're pretty guess. much, you're pretty much there. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna start pushing when we hit him. And so, and he's really low, so they said I could probably push him up pretty quickly. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we almost have a rug! Yes. I made it! I'm excited. Yeah, Mother Teresa made it. You guys can see. Hi. Mother Teresa. Oh. And then, is your family here yet? Are they coming? I don't know. And then my my yeah. dad, I don't know. Him and I need to be going to probably be here sometime soon. He's got the hat. I need the hat. He said he's on his way. Okay. Oh, is that what he went to the house for? Well, he went to Peach Girl. And then oh he got the hat. Oh my god, they can't can wait. I forgot the hat. Like, I got this hat special made. A, a resident <laughs> like, handyman is taking a nap. He out. I think he had just wanted to Brian, if you're asleep, out. flip us off. Oh god. <laughs> oh, look at the storms outside. Yeah, there was somebody walking out there and I was like, they just got blown. You wanna take a nap? I might take a nap. Take a nap, girl. You want me to turn off the light? No. You sure? Yeah, this is a perfect setting right now. It's a perfect setting for a nap. I don't hear his heartbeat. Did he move he again? Moved, so you're probably not going to. He just keeps moving. He wants out of there. He's a turd burglar. He's gonna be moving 24-7. Yeah, he's right. a wiggle worm. Right, honey, I'll be back. Okay. He's gonna change it to you right away. Okay. Go to sleep. Next, the next check. Next check in could be. Ah! Or the next check in could be a baby! I'm not screaming because it's not gonna really hurt, I don't feel like. Because I'm. Yeah, but they're gonna tell you to push and you're gonna go. Oh, I have to make that noise, don't I? Mm. Probably, I don't know. I don't know what noise I'll make. I haven't practiced it. I don't know. Maybe my back's on fire. Jesse's back's on fire. Do I have a heating pedal? No, I don't think so. We'll see. Look at this little dude. Goodness. Eight pounds, eleven ounces, and nineteen and a well, looks like twenty inches. Twenty inches long. Oh gosh. He's a big 20. He is upset. He's a big 20. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's kind of dope. Oh. <laughs> okay, who wants them? Hey, hey, you beautiful. Know. I do. Go for it. Oh my gosh. Hi there. Hi there, my precious baby. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, I think he's smiling. Are you going smile for Gigi? Gigi loves you so much. She loves you so much. He's trying to look at me. Oh my god. Is that good? Is that good? I think so. Yeah, that was that's perfect with it. 
Oh my god. Ridiculous. <laughs> 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 he just looks ridiculous and cute. He is just beautiful. <laughs> See, I'm already dying. I'm a good looking guy. See me? <laughs> He's so burrito. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna get too much footage right now because we're just chilling. He's asleep. But what do you guys think? This is one cute little man. He's got this, they put these little teardrop things in his eyes in case any bacteria got in there. So it looks like he's been crying, but he has not been crying. He's asleep. He's been a good boy. Mm-hmm. And now he's making these cute little noises like Squirrel does. It's ridiculous. I'm in love. How are you feeling? Look at my, I like got, my hair is so knotted in the back. Your hair is knotted? We're just about to make our way to the next room. Recovery room. Recovery room, which we're not sure where that is, but. I'm a little bit, like I'm a little bit more pain than the labor, but I think. I yeah, because you have your epidural out. I can get my pain pills when I go for hopefully, and I'll be good. I feel pretty good. Oh Got yeah. Got little man over here. He's perfect. Okay. He's been chilling so far. Say hi, everybody. I like to be so perfect. I'm a good boy. <laughs> epitome of perfection. They kind of didn't really like explain like if like are they gonna help us change his first diaper or <laughs> do we let him know when it's dirty? Like we don't know how to change it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not aware of it but I'll just go ahead and change it. I don't care. Yeah. They have more diapers in that thing don't they? Yeah I don't know if they have a special like diaper area though that keeps it. Oh yeah. Like from not smelling. I didn't think about that. Look at that cute little face. Look at that little dude. He's amazing. He is amazing and he's just sleeping. He really does look like my Uncle Knox. Do you think so? Yeah. I think so too. It's crazy. He's the sweetest little man. My little guy. After a long day of giving birth and eating a bottle, it's time for nap time. It is nap time in the the neighborhood we are he's napping so we're gonna nap for a little bit and he might be like this all day they said that he's gonna be really tired today but then that's when the crazy stuff starts tomorrow because that's when the schedule goes wild okay i'm going to sleep for a second yeah let's take a nap hi we've got a guy with his eyes open right now and he's just looking super cute well, oh that puts him to sleep that's like squirrel. <laughs> you love that. Susan. Oh, my little guy. You're so sweet. I'm your mother. You know that too. Say, I know. I know this. Did you cry? No. I just think he's just so precious. Oh. <laughs> You, you haven't gotten that first poo out. Are you doing that now? This looks like a poo face. <laughs> we got baby rook and we got the mutter over here the we can't really see anything but we're about to try to catch some sleep it's sleep time it's my first time to catch real z's so good night everybody we'll see you tomorrow good night okay so he passed the hearing test. He passed his hearing test. It's got, yeah, there we go. There's the focus. He passed his hearing test. He can hear. It was 100% on both ears. So that's pretty awesome. 100%. That's amazing. Way to go, Rook. Say I'm a hero. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 He's smiling. He looks like this. He's cute. <laughs>
<laughs> He's a little old man. Yeah, I know. He's a little baby man. I love it. Hi. That hair looks blonde right there. Yeah, it's yeah. blonde. Mm -hmm. He's blonde. But it's, it's, it'll be dirty blonde if it stays that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at these two. These two fools over here. It's just me and my boo. -hoo. My little boo. -hoo. Look at this little guy. Look how cute he is. We couldn't get him to take, I don't know if I've said this to him yet, we couldn't get him to take just the one like this, but when it's got the kitty on there, he's all about that love. It. Should we show them his little got feet? Got the kitty cat. See if we can get in there for him. Look at these little feet, guys. Have we showed the feet yet? I don't think so. Let's show these little guys. Look at these little feet. Oh, oh my God, he's got these little long toes. Are you ticklish like daddy? Probably. This is just literally it's yeah, like, a little baby. It's like a dream. He's, he's, all, he's all scuffed up though from the birth, but yeah. he'll be better someday. He'll get better. He's all scuffed up, but he'll get better. But it is the greatest feeling in the world. Having a nice little healthy. We just wanted him to be healthy, and he's so healthy. So far, he's been healthy. He does maybe have a little bit of jaundice, but every baby apparently, well, not every, but lots of them get it. And it might have to be where we have to feed him a little bit extra for him to flush it out. Or he might have to get these little blankets, but he doesn't seem too yellow to me, so. No, he seems to be fine. Yeah, but. We'll see, though. Just get to sit here, right here with him. Imagine if I had the C-section. I couldn't even do this right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He'd be in here for another couple days, too. Yeah, that would be. I wanted one more day. I don't need to be in here for four. Look who we have. It's the crew. Ooh. They're back. We're with here. The baby. We got our little baby who's doing just amazing still. And. He's kind of cute. He is a little bit cute. I mean, just maybe. He's just pretty ugly, bit. I think. He's just ugly. Wow, Jenny. <laughs> He's so ugly. I just can't even look Why would you say that about yourself? He makes me want to puke. <laughs> He's super cute. We're just hanging out here. This is probably going to be our last night here, as long as his jaundice levels go down. But we're just hanging out, having a good time. Vlogging. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> having a good time and hopefully what we're gonna do tonight to try to get his level to go down is we're gonna feed him every three hours like on the dot so what time is it it's 10 45 so we are late yeah, we're, so we're not doing it on the dot jenny would you like to feed him yeah okay you gotta zoom in go oh my god <laughs> i just noticed on the bottom <laughs> of his oh look at this little dude this hopefully is going to be our last night in the hospital and we got him all wrapped up and he's hopefully going to get a good night's sleep. Otherwise we can let him go to the nursery, but... He's beautiful. He's so sweet right now. You have to wake him up every three hours to feed him though. Yeah, maybe we'll make him go to the nursery then. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. This could be our last good night of sleep. Yeah. See we'll how see. it goes. We're probably bringing him home tomorrow, though, so we'll show you guys everything tomorrow. Yay! Oh, he just jumped. Oh, he's moving. We're about to go home. It he's, is about that time. He's about to get discharged. His jaundice level was, like, the same, which means I think we're good. We'll find out if we need to do anything else about it. But it's about to be time for us to take this guy home for the first time, which is kind of terrifying. We've had so many people to help us, and now it's me and Will and my mom for a little while. So that won't be terrible, but... He's just been sleeping like crazy. When you get him in this little burrito outfit, he is done. <laughs> we'll just sit here and sleep the whole time. He loves it. Such a little a shit. sweet man. I wonder what he's gonna think about the car seat though. I know he'll like the car ride, but I don't know about the car seat. Car seat's right there, he's we waiting for him. Perigo. Thanks guys. Thanks guys, yeah, take Perigo. We're trying it out finally for the first time. I don't know how long it'll be before we try the stroller. How long, like, I, get, I think Kate did it pretty, well, maybe like three weeks in or something. She went walking around. So I have to be able to get better to be able to walk around with him in the stroller. So it's crazy. We did it, cutes. We created this little cutie. I know, it's kind of wild. He's the best. Okay, Fubi, we made it back to the house. Check it. Hello. He's here. We've got our little bundle here. He's just chilling. Say hello to our little friend. Oh, <laughs> he is so cute. Isn't that the cutest little man? Got his little binky in. He's a kitty. This is his squirrel. Cause he's passy, really. I don't know where squirrel went. We'll have to tell you about squirrel. So, like the first time squirrel saw him, she hissed at him, and we we're like, oh god, oh, let me get you back up. Let me get you back up there. She hissed at him, so I was like, oh god, she's gonna hate him. But then she kind of just laid there by him, and that, like the last night that we've been here, because we've only been here really a day, she just sits there and stares at him, like, I don't know what this is. 
but this is crazy. Why is it still here? Usually it leaves after five hours. Yeah. Because it's like friends, babies and stuff. She kind of avoids us right now, but I don't think she's going to get used to it. I don't think she really like dislikes him. I think she just does not know what's going on. Yeah. But we had a crazy night. We should have recorded it. We, I mean, we just weren't in the zone for that, but we just, it was our first night to have to be up with him and we couldn't figure out. He wasn't really that fussy unless you like didn't put the bank in his mouth, but we couldn't figure out what he wanted and he wanted more food. We have to give him more food apparently. So he's taking, I read, I don't know why they told us that he needs to only do 30 or 40 milliliters because I read from zero to two weeks they should always take like two ounces, which is that full bottle. Oh really? Yeah, maybe because we were trying to ease him into it, but now he'll take the full little bottle. Oh, he loves the full bottles now. That's it, yeah. But we're just trying to burp him. I'm playing video games, which is what great dads do, right? Yeah, great dads always play video games. That's Titanfall in 4K, by the way. Don't know if I can show you the TV yet. Yeah, well, we just won't talk about it. But uh, Titanfall in 4K, and we're just, we're chilling right now. My mom's here, his parents came today. I think we're just gonna have like hang out and chill today. Jenny's supposed to cook us dinner tomorrow and we'll start having some friends that'll probably come over and see him. I thought Sean was coming today. Sean might come today, yeah, I don't okay. know. I'll have to text him. I know people are hanging out over at Holly's, so I mean, if you wanna take him. <laughs> we just wanna go over to Holly's and lay out. No, he doesn't have any emusations yet. I know, he, he, we, I don't know how long we have to like wait it's to like really six weeks, I think. take him out of the house. So for now, we're just kinda like chilling and relaxing, but it's like, it feels, it almost feels like you're on vacation at like a beach somewhere, like it feels good just be like not thinking for me I'm i think it's because it, it, the, all the stress of the pregnancy is gone now yeah it's all gone for both of us i'm still healing it's really hard for me i'm to relieved get it's here and we're done with that and all that kind of stuff and i did good didn't i did yeah I you did good. awesome i was a textbook apparently which i was like i don't even know what's going on i just couldn't feel my legs and i was trying to just get this guy out but uh we made i think one of the most precious babies ever oh, i look could at be that biased because he's mine but oh darn, it's just it's so cute. He's it's he's so cute, and he loves the binkies, which is good because apparently, if they have binkies in their mouth when they fall asleep, it can help protect against SIDS, which is sudden infant death syndrome. And this like since he's he's got his little nose area where he can breathe, and since it's covering his mouth, something else is not is likely to cover his mouth, which is nice. And he can have it held down by his this one. The Wubba Nubs are great because it like holds it down and keeps the it in there, but it's so light past that that whenever he pushes out, it just falls off pretty much. Which is really nice. We love it. We love him so much. We're in love. We are in love with this. It's Mini Mentor's little brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mini, mini mentor. He's a mini, mini mentor. Anyway, I think that should we end the vlog here and then we'll just continue with vlogs. We have one big vlog because it was all together. Yeah, it's huge. So this is going to be the ending for Fubi's vlog. Um, I want to say that I hope you guys enjoy. We'll try to post as much as possible. I might post every day. You never know because now I have a lot of different new things happening. So maybe every day for Fubi. And then um, if this vlog went on Fangs, you're not going to see this every day unless you are following Fubi. <laughs> so you should follow Fubi. Um, that is going to be it for this video though. We hope you guys did enjoy it. And uh, thank you guys for all the love. Like all of our posts, everybody's been so nice and we appreciate it. You guys make us feel great. Oh,